to kind of keep this small so it's not tall, it's short. Okay. So that there won't be as big a space to keep warm. Right. To keep pipes from freezing in here. So I think a smaller space with the energy that's in there it stays warm in the winter. Okay. Space. And making this as small as I thought was practical resulted in a side this shape. It's more challenging for a door or an opening. It's one big piece for a long time and that's very awkward to try to move or do anything with and it certainly won't open this way with a hinge on the side or this way because of this hinge on the side so I opted for splitting it in half and then trying to hinge this side but even just half of it with this curb here it, it won't open it won't hinge open this way so I found some cabinet hinges on the internet where the cabinet door kind of opens and goes to the side. So that was one, one thought. Another thought is that I believe I was told there's a pool electrical code that said any metal within a certain distance of a pool has to be grounded. So grounding hinges seems like a problem. Um, impractical, really. I think if it's a big, heavy hinge and it's supposed to be moving, and it just didn't seem reasonable. Trying to be cautious, I decided that if the hinge wasn't metal, it doesn't need to be grounded if it doesn't conduct electricity. I thought about making the hinge out of PVC pipe. Now the way this hinge works, this door will slide out, slide out, and then it can go to the side. So it's all the way out of the way, it can get in here. Pushing's going in there. Both sides. nicely now on those bushings. This is a spacer so it just can't move far. This will tighten up a little bit. Same over here. These T's have bushings. One inch pipes going through. So one and a quarter inch PVC fitting. One inch T spacer, one and a quarter inch T with bushings, one inch pipe goes through, another T. This will attach to the frame. This attaches to the middle of the door with the handle out here. You pull the handle, the door slides out and then over, overlapping the other side. It's open. It's closed. You can't buy that at the hardware store. You can't buy it because it's a, it's custom size. So the size it depends on distance so you have to have an adjustable length size of the door. So it's really it's kind of a, a double hinge. There's a piece here that goes top to bottom inside the PVC pipe um, that has this hinge on it. So this turns one thing turns and then this is, has this offset to get around this door so that it can fold flat. Okay. And another hinge on the door here. So this turns. 
So the combination of those two hinges gives it this nice action where it opens and folds around.